A Greek historian named Herodotus called Egypt the gift of the Nile because without the Nile River, there'd be no Egypt. This is MrDowling.com. History lessons in under five minutes. Like a giant snake, the Nile River slithers through some of the driest desert land on Earth to create a narrow green valley. The valley extends only about five or 10 miles, that's eight to 16 kilometers, before quickly turning into desert. The ancient Greeks call this land Egyptos. We call it Egypt. For more than 5,000 years, famous and often mysterious civilizations thrived along the banks of the Nile. Every spring, the snow on the mountains of East Africa melted, sending a torrent of water that overflowed the banks of the Nile and flooded the river valley. The rushing river picked up bits of soil and plant life called silt. As the annual flood receded, a strip of black topsoil emerged every year along the banks of the Nile. The silt was rich in nutrients, and it provided the people of Egypt with two or three crops every year. That green valley made it possible for the people of Egypt to form the first nation in history. A nation may refer to a community of people with a common language, culture, ethnic background, or history. The land beyond the Nile River Valley is the Sahara Desert. Desert is land that receives less than 10 inches of rain in a typical year. Since you can't grow much food in the desert, few people lived east or west of the Nile. South of the southern Egyptian city of Aswan, sailors on the Nile were blocked by boulders, whitewater rapids, and waterfalls that the Greeks called cataracts. The Nile flows into the vast Mediterranean Sea, which formed Egypt's northern border. Egypt's isolation led to its unification. The people living along the banks of the Nile spoke the same language and worshipped many of the same gods more than 5,000 years ago. The Nile no longer overflows its banks because modern Egyptians built a huge dam in Aswan. Since 1970, the Aswan High Dam has held back the water that annually flooded the banks of the Nile River. Since the water is now controlled, the Nile no longer overflows. That makes it safer for the Egyptian people, but it also means they lost the topsoil provided by the Nile silt. The Aswan Dam also provides a reliable source of water for Egyptian farmers in the dry season. The people of Egypt are now able to convert the predictable flow of the Nile into electricity. The Aswan High Dam initially provided electricity to more than half of the villages along the Nile. The population of Egypt has grown since then, but the Aswan Dam still contributes some of Egypt's electricity. Unlike oil, the flowing water is renewable, which means the river won't run out. Ancient and modern civilizations have relied on the mighty river, proving Egypt truly is the gift of the Nile. There's more about ancient Egypt on my companion website, MrDowling.com. There you'll find lessons, handouts, quizzes, and interactive games. Browse through time and space at MrDowling.com. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll be making more, so I'd love to have you subscribe. Leave a comment, tell me what you thought, and I'll see you next time.